everyone if you're new to the channel you can subscribe to the channel for future updates and guys please visit my website guys you can check the link in the description below and of course i have launched the new instagram account and make sure you follow for more future updates enjoy the solutions hello everyone welcome to this mom Gaku show mathematics a 2016 and now we discuss part three so part three there there's a question about statistics and this should be you know just remember the formula and you can do it now you got a table there the table below shows the scores of 10 10 students for questions a and question b in the examination so there's the data and the mean and sd sd is a standard deviation that is total score okay for number one you say answer the appropriate numbers for box 31 to box 35 in the table Note that the mean and the standard deviation are calculated to one decimal place, right? So let's solve box 3-1. Uh, box 3-1 is in the data in the question A, right? And we have the mean, so we just, you know, calculate that. 3 plus 5 plus 6 plus 4 plus box 3-1. Let's say that is x plus 1 plus 7 plus 7 plus 8 plus 3. There are total 10 data right there, right? 5 and 5, so 10 equals 5. So we just calculate that. Uh, it is 44 plus x equals 50. Okay, so x is 6. So box 3, 1 is 6. And now box 3, 2. Uh, box 3, 2. I think we find box 3, 3 first. We discuss standard deviation later right after this so box 3 3 it's actually just to find the mean right so we just adding that 3 plus 5 plus 6 plus 4 plus 5 plus 8 plus 6 plus 5 plus 5 plus 3 divided by 10 and that is also equals to 5 so box 3 is 5 and then uh, yep let's go to 3 5 3, 5 is a standard deviation. Now, remember that the formula of the standard deviation is the root of the sigma, the total summation of xi minus the average of the data squared over n. So how to actually, you know, use this formula? Okay, so I use the example three, box 3, 5. You know, I neglect to... Uh, discussed box 3 to, to show you how to actually use the formula okay so at question b we know the mean is 5 right so there's a data there are 3 5 6 and the rest until 10th data so we, we use actually xi is actually each data subtract the average and squared so there's 3 minus 5 squared plus 5 minus 5 squared you see each data is div is subtracted with the average and squared so 4 minus 5 minus 5 squared plus 5 minus 5 squared plus 8 minus 5 squared plus 6 minus 5 squared plus 5 minus 5 squared plus 5 minus 5 squared plus 3 minus 5 squared right 3 5 6 4 5 8 6 5 5 3 and all of that, n is the total of data. There's the there's ten data, right? Let me root it, and yeah, we we'll calculate that. So this is three minus five is two. Square is four. That is zero. This is one. This is one. This is zero. This is nine. This is one. This is zero. This is zero, and this is four over ten. So that is 4, 5, 6, 15, 16, and uh, uh, 20. So there's 20 over 10, root 2. And they said, remember that is, you know, calculated to one decimal place. It is, you know, approximately 1.4. So that is how the, you utilize the formula standard deviation. Okay, and now let's solve uh, 3 box 3 2 now 
it is given the value of the standard deviation. Now we have to find the data there inside the uh, inside the total data, right? So uh, we we don't know the mean of this. Oh, well, actually, the box 3, 2 is only the addition of the total. Well, I thought that's a standard deviation. Well, that's like the data. 4 plus 4 is 8, so box 3, 2 is 11, right? And box 3, 5 is already, so... three Box 3, 1, box 3, 2, box 3, 3, box 3, 4. We just find the mean, right? The mean is... Uh, 6 plus 10 plus 12 plus 8 plus 11 plus 9 plus 13 plus 12 plus 13 plus 6 over 10 and the answer is 10 okay so that is for uh, part 1 of part 3 part 3 number 1 right and this is just you know the testing of your uh, calculation make sure you not make a mistake there in the numbers and also you know the way you use this formula okay so let's go to number two number two it's unique it consists of a box plot now I rarely see box plot in you know mathematics statistics question but the simple uh, explanation about about box plot is that this is the form of the box plot this uh, this box plot means that this is the maximum data maximum value this is the minimum value this is the first quartile this is the second quartile and this is the third quartile right maximum data third quartile second quartile or we could say that it is the median right second quartile and then the first quartile we could say uh, low quartile and then we could say this high quartile now they say choose the box plot for the total score among a until b so it means that there's four options here and we have to find which one the box plot is appropriate for the total data so the total right from 6 10 12 until the rest so from that we have to uh, rearrange data from the smallest to the biggest so that is uh, 6 there's a 2 6 there and there's a 8 9 10 11 12 12 13 13 All right so we uh, rearrange the data and we find the the each of the data here the max is 13 right so if we have find if we have found the max is 13 you can see from the box plot option there uh, all of them the highest point is 13 approximately 13 and then if we find the minimum is 6 all of them have the minimum of 6 and let's find the median just you uh, use the same way this 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 10.5 the median is 10.5 now you can see at the option option a has the line below than 10 that is not correct option B, c has the line exactly line to 10 that is not correct and then option b and d has the line uh, slightly above than 10 so option between B and D could be the answer right now to differentiate that is the low quartile right because you can see that the high quartile the third quartile has the same line so only the low quartile so how to find the low quartile from this median you got the median is in this position and now you can go this way 8 so the line which matching A is option C, right? Option C and yeah. So the box plot, the appropriate box plot there, yep, is option C. 
no no option D sorry option D so you look at option D the maximum uh, line is 13 the high quartile is 12 the median is 10.5 the low quartile is 8 and the the minimum data is 6 okay let's go to number 3 now number 3 I didn't actually quite you know have a really good grasp for the understanding of the correlation coefficient r but you know i did i did search on the internet that the value of r is always between minus one until one with that inclusive so with that in mind you can see the option that option a and option e is not uh, suitable appropriate for this interval right you can see that r less than minus 0 0.6 it's already you know less into infinity and option e2 okay so to find the uh, the value of r there's actually the the formula for that and the formula is quite long for the formula it is n sigma xy minus sigma x times sigma y over the root of n sigma x squared minus this sigma x squared times n sigma y squared minus sigma y squared okay so you know you might wonder how the heck to use this formula uh actually for the data let's just assume the x is the a right uh, data set a and y is the data set b so let's you know try to rearrange that. That is three five six four six one seven seven eight three and B is three five six four five eight six five five three. And now we calculate A B. We multiply that nine twenty five thirty six sixteen thirty eight forty two thirty five forty nine then we calculate a squared because it needed something squared okay so we square this 9 25 36 16 36 1 49 49 64 9 in b squared 9 25 36 16 25 64 36 25 25 and 9 then we calculate the sum because in the sigma the sigma of this is 50 right this is 50 this is 250 this is 294 this is 282 okay and now we just this is sigma x this is sigma y this is sigma xy this is sigma x squared sigma y squared y squared remember that sigma x square is different between uh, with sigma x squared so it's different just uh yeah it's it's, it's just different with uh the formula of this and then the n is a total data which is 10 okay so n is 10 sigma xy is 250 sigma x is 50 sigma y is 50 so 50 times 50 over the root of uh, 10 times sigma x squared that is 200 uh, sigma x squared 294 times 294 minus we squared this 2500 times 10 282 minus 2500 and now you can see that this is 2500 this is 2500 so the result is zero so r is zero so actually you know i didn't actually quite know how to make the interval but if i look at the option there the only suitable interval is c because between minus 0 0.2 and 0 0.2 right zero is in that interval if you see option b all is negative if, if, if you see option D, it's all above 0 0.2 and less than 0 0.6.
right? So the answer is C. And if you actually look at the answer key too, it says also C. Okay, yep, that is a series for Mathematics A uh, 2016. Stay tuned for another video solution. Thank you for watching.